and welcome to Night Owl Collage. I'm Amber and today I want to show you a couple of things before we get to today's tutorial. My daughter asked for a junk journal for Christmas but she wanted one that was completely white. Everything, all the embellishments, all the ephemera to be completely white so that she can decorate it the way she wanted to. Let me tell you that was really hard for me to do because I love putting color and all kinds of different things in there. So it was so hard to put in blank white embellishments in ephemera. But let me show you uh, what kind of, I had to decorate the cover somewhat. So I had this on the, the pearls on the side and a doily and some flowers. I had to do something on the front. But um, so I have things like, so the paper is, she's already like really um, gone and done some art in here. Um, she absolutely loves it. So um, the paper is all different types of paper with the thinnest paper being at the ends. Each signature is a different paper. And then in the middle is um, a watercolor paper, which she's already decorated. This one's so pretty. Um, and then, so these pages, it's just like white pockets, white paper, um, one of these little um, pockets here, our envelopes, it's just blank and white. Um, I found all my like, I made, I made tags and I found, I found some white tags and a white vellum envelope or pocket. And I put some envelopes in there too, with just blank white cards. And then like little, tiny little embellishment there. Um, so basically just, um, she already put a, her own tag in there. Um, she didn't want me to show you <laughs> her art here. So, you know, I found some things like this to put in there um, from my grabby box. I put some white butterflies, some white uh, lettering. And so basically, yeah, it's just all completely white so that she can um, put her own art in here. I've got some pearl edging here. And, um, <clears throat> We just really have fun with it and make it her own. There's one of my whirly gig pieces, and there was another piece. Of, I think I put a, yeah, I put um, a sheet protector, a clear sheet protector, as a pocket in there with a white sheet. But yeah, she really loves that, so that might be a really good i gift idea for a um, a person who just wants like an art journal. Um, the, uh, a junk journal type art journal <clears throat> that they can just make it completely their own so um hard for me to do but worth it because she absolutely loves it the other thing i wanted to show you is like one of my very favorite christmas gifts of all time so my teens the one that i gave this to and her brother made me a junk journal but it's a collaged junk journal because I also love collage. So, <laughs> it's hilarious. So, <clears throat> they just did random collage pieces, just as warm, <laughs> just random. And then um, they had put things, they put charms in here. How cute is that little turtle charm? Um, my my littlest daughter actually made this for me she made like a little folio for me it's super cute how cute is that so i stuck it in here as well and then um they made they just put these pages in a binder but they also made like a folio a little insert um they put like they know i love cats they have 11 so it's just so cute. Bird. Just, just completely just hilarious. I mean, pasta. 
I love it. So they made like little writing spots in here with stickers, and more writing spots, flip up writing spots. I love their um, collage ideas. They are so fantastic. And uh, this one was my, done by my son. Very interesting. <laughs> and this one, the uh, bread comes out. You can write on that. Pretty cool. And he's like, I don't know what this was, so I'm calling it a tuck spot. <laughs> I think it's cute. And they even made a tag. Look at that. We can write on the back. This page just says, trust. Pretty cool. Little little uh, cards, writing spots. I mean, this is just fantastic. I love it. And here's some collage pieces they did. I love the shark. Check out the shark and the cheetah in the pot. I mean, I love it. Absolutely love it. And here's a cat collage. <laughs> and another collage with this guy and this turtle. They said the turtle wants to go in the pasta. I guess it looks warm in there. I don't know. And fractions. <laughs> it's fantastic. I absolutely love this. I just, just random words and fun images and little places to write and journal. And this, this is one of my most treasured possessions now. Um, so I just had to show you because it's just a just fantastic I love it so on to today's tutorial all right I really want to make some ephemera for this experimental journal that's going to be a retro diner theme so what we're going to do today is we're going to take we're going to look at making ephemera like journal cards and uh, folios and things like that out of old magazines like vintage magazines so i've got i went through i had a bunch of old life magazines that i got uh really cheaply at an antique mall and i went through all of them and i picked some pieces that i think i want to make into like little journal cards and things like that so um, i like this lifesavers uh piece here this seven up bottle um, I want to use this lipstick I want to use this um, car wax can so you know there's like all these things like uh, in the diner there's food there's cars there's music records um, so I want to use all these kinds of things this little coca-cola um, what do you call this case drink case and then some record um, record covers record albums here um, I might use another 7-up album I'm not album <laughs> another 7-up bottle I'm not sure but I also want to use this ketchup bottle this milkshake box I, I think I want to use this to make like a little folio or a, you know yeah a little folio I think I want to use the a1 sauce and one of the potatoes I want to use the bacon and I want to use the mustard jar and then just in a um, another book that I had like a vintage book this isn't actually vintage but it's from it's vintage images so I want to take um, a couple of these recipe cards and probably this pie piece and this burger so we're gonna do that um, and I want I think I want to start with one of the easier ones here let's go with the mustard jar and because this paper is really old and kind of brittle, it's not going to work to just cut it out and use it. We're going to have to back it with something. So I've got uh, lots of different papers that could be, you know, translate as retro. 
So I'm gonna use those to back it, okay? And I'm, instead of using wet glue or glue stick, I'm gonna use rubber cement to glue it together because rubber cement gives the um, the best finish. It's not gonna warp the paper and it's gonna stay completely flat. That's why I wanna use this rubber cement because I want these to really look nice. Okay, let me just get some glue paper here. So what I'm gonna start off doing is I'm just going to cut out the basic kind of shape here, just so we have a smaller piece to work with. Okay. And I might do something with this other stuff on here. I'm not sure. So I'm going to save that to the side. And I just got to pick a color. I think I want to go with this yellow here to back it. So you could still write on that and it'll be a cute little uh, journal card or tag. I might make it a tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this right to the back with my rubber cement and then we're going to cut out. A nice layer of rubber cement here and this is sometimes what I use uh, with collage when I'm not in a hurry. So that, um, you know, it's okay if it's, it gets a little messy. If I'm in a hurry, I just use a glue stick for collage. But we really want these vintage magazine papers to last. So that's why we really need to back them with something nice and sturdy. See how flat that is? It's not warping, it's not curling or anything. I love it. Okay. While that is drying, I don't want to cut it out quite yet. I think I'm going to do the ketchup bottle here and use, let's see, it's got a green label. So I'm thinking maybe I'll use this one. Okay. So I'm just, oh, I might use that pickle too. I kind of like that pickle. So I'm just going to cut out my ketchup bottle. Um, I'm not gonna cut out the ketchup with it, just the bottle. We have, this is, these are small journals widthwise. So I just want to make sure all gonna fit in there and I'm gonna cut out this pickle too because I really want to use the pickle and I might use this little phrase here it says deliciously yours so I might want to use that at some point so I'm just gonna put that off to the side Let's see do I need anything else on here no so I can toss this Okay. We're gonna cover our ketchup bottle with our rubber cement here. So I'm really excited about this retro um, diner journal. It I've just been over the last couple of days. I've been just coming up with some ideas in my head. And so I'm just starting to get really excited about it. Okay. Let's put it on the side so I can save that piece. Let's 
person, you might want to take a, if it's not too delicate, you can take a bone folder over that, smooth it out some more. And let's see, what do I want to put this pickle on? I have some, I just had it. This would be a fun paper to put the pickle on. So I think I'm going to use that. It's a, just a discarded jelly print. And then we'll do cut these out and see how they look. Okay, what side? I want this yellowish side here. Alright, let's start cutting out this mustard jar. I think I actually might make this one a tag. Oh, that's so cute. That's a good tag shape. I like that. Got this cute little. And we'll have to ink, ink this side, I think. All right, let's take care of the ketchup. All right, let's do the pull. My goodness how cute are these oh my goodness okay so I'm not gonna leave them just like this I want to do something oh that's so cute I want to do something a little bit extra to them so I'm gonna think about that. I definitely want to make this one into a tag maybe this one as well um, let's do a couple more while I think on how I want to jazz them up a little bit so let's see, let's do, let's do this burger, I really want to do this bacon, um, and let's do the pie, let's do these. So let me cut out. Basic shape here. Don't need this. Okay, we've got a burger. Get a little bit more off the top here. Got our burger and then we've got the pie. These are the ones that are not exactly vintage, but they still work for my purpose. Okay, we've got our pie and then we're gonna do this bacon. I'm not gonna use paper cutter on that because that'll just tear it. So I definitely want these full pieces here. I think I can get two full pieces. Let me see. This one's not full. The rest are kind of, um, I might be able to do this one. Actually, I like this one here. I think I can get to look like the full piece. Okay. So, now what color do we want? Let's see. 
I think maybe for the burger, I'll just do this. For the bacon, maybe that. That kind of looks fun. And let's see, for the pie. What do we want to use for the pie? I have this color. The pie. I don't like that. I think I might use both of this. I might use the bacon on here and the pie for this. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Get my rubber cement here. Too much on there, it's seeping out there. I'm using my bone folder. I got dry. That's another uh, reason the bone folder helps, it kind of gets the excess glue out of there. the bacon. I'm going to cut around this some more. I don't need three pieces of bacon. I just want three pieces of bacon. And who doesn't want bacon? in a few places where there um, have been some cute diners, but I guess they're kind of out of fashion right now. I hope they come back because I just really like diners. I think they're they're cute. They're fun. Um, when I, There was a place where I was growing, when I was growing up, that had, it was like a little diner place and it was a retro theme and it had a soda fountain and a jukebox and um it was it was so cute but i don't think we have one around here where i live now um but it's it is such a cute theme i would have to say my favorite diner food is hot dogs. I love hot dogs. What is your guys' favorite diner food? I, my husband's would have to be milkshakes. He loves ice cream. <laughs> so definitely milkshakes would be his favorite diner food. Here we've got our pie and let's go for the burgers and the bacon.
how cute are these? Look at my bacon, my burger, my pie. Look at these, they're so fun. Okay, I did think of something I'd really like to do with these while I was cutting out. So I will be right back with my supplies. Just hang on just a moment. Okay, so since we're going with this retro diner theme, I thought it'd be really fun to do like a retro comic book kind of art on these, um, kind of like this. Um, you can see I was making marks uh, with my different pens because some of them were smudging and it just smudged right off. Um, so the only pen, like I don't have a Sharpie pen on me right now, so the only ones that stayed on these and didn't smudge and wipe off were these Ohuhu art markers. They're alcohol markers. So that is what I'm going to use for this. So I'll show you how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to use this pie and I'm going to use the brush end of this marker here. Still got ink all over my fingers. So I'm just going to outline everything first. So I'm just going to go right around the edge. Okay, and then I'm going to outline um, everything inside here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some dots in some specific places. Like this one, I put them on this part of the pie and on the bacon I used stripes. So that's how um, I've noticed like those two uh, elements are in that retro style are the dots and the stripes. So I'm going to do dots on the pie. Now that I've got a straight line. So I'm just kind of going in between the spacing of the previous line of dots. So on the back, I also want to have that border as well. So I'm going to just flip this over and I'm going to do the outline again with the black. We have this pie journal card and it's got this retro kind of art on it. So let's do a, the bacon strip and then I will do a, the rest of these off camera and we'll turn them into tags or journal cards, whatever we would like. Okay, so let's go with the bacon. Okay, and for the shading on the bacon, I'm gonna use stripes instead of the dots. Okay, there is our retro bacon. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these off camera and then we'll come back and do a little, um, and then we'll come back and turn a couple of these into tags 
and we'll do one more thing that I have back in just a moment. All right, so look at how cool these are. So here's my hamburger, my ketchup bottle, my cherry pie, and the rest I'm making into tags. So we've got our bacon tags. and our pickle and our mustard jar. So I, I've already put the eyelets in. So in the box, I have um, some, uh, it's not sorry silk, but it's like it. So strips of fabric, chiffon, some might be sorry silk, but I've got some chiffon here. So I'm just gonna use this to, for the, I think I'll use the pink on the bacon and the red on these two. So I can just, I think I'm going to cut that down a little bit. So I'm going to cut this and rip it. Use this on my bacon. Yeah, I can do it a little bit smaller. Oh, look how cute my bacon tags. I'm going to cut that down a bit. Cute, cute, cute. There's my bacon, and then we'll use this for my other two. Red and yellow, like ketchup and mustard. to get it in here and then I think we're gonna make one more little thing even though I want to make a ton more <laughs> um, but I will actually show you all the things that I made at the end don't want to keep you here all day busy lives busy people so I will we'll make one more thing and then we will I'll show you finished I'll show you everything that I made at the end all right there we go we've got our mustard and pickle our bacon and then our other journal cards so the next thing we're gonna do is I really like this uh, ad for the record collection and the stereo collection so I want to it has these nice squares so I want to fold that um, fold that in half but put it on uh, cardstock first So that it has it's a nice little folio so I need to find some paper that is heavy um, I think because I pulled out some card stocks or some papers here but I want it to be 
Oh, see, this would be fun, but it's the wrong, because you could write on the lines, but it's the wrong orientation. Bummer. Oh, this will be cool. Yeah, let's go with this. Then we can have the lines for writing, okay? I really like this ad a lot. Because I can just fold it into a nice little folio for my journal. Going slow on that so I don't tear the paper. It's so old. Now I gotta check to make sure that this isn't going to be wider than my journal so oh it is going to be okay so what I need to do is let's see maybe I could do like a an accordion thing yeah I think I might do that all right, okay, so we're going to go ahead and put our rubber cement all over this piece. I'm being messy because I'm trying to be quick. It dries pretty quickly. Okay, let's get this on there straight. Okay. Smooth that out with my bone folder here. Okay. Cut this down. We have this cool writing space on the back. Uh, I have that that line. I don't like that, but I'll decorate that or something. Okay, so how do I want to do this? I think, well, first I'm going to fold it in half. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I should probably wait till this dries, but I'm impatient. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe we'll just flip it in so it's still like a little folio, but it fits in the journal. And then we got these cool ladies in the front or in the inside. Well, you know what? Let's flip it the other way like this. So then we see the ladies there. Cause if we had it this way, we would see that and that's not fun. So let's do it that way. Ooh, see, I stood away until it dried. I'm gonna have to fix that. So then we have that and the writing side. So first off, I am definitely going to outline it in black. We should maybe do some coloring, but let's go ahead and outline. I'm gonna use this side.
much better. I like that much better. Okay. Now what? How about we add a little bit of color with maybe some colored pencil? All right, I've got I've got some jelly rolls, so we'll do that. Um, let's start. I want to start with pink, then probably yellow, green, orange. Okay, let's do like this. Like this. Okay. So we're going to go in with our jelly rolls. I'm going to put that dot back in the center after this dries. Oh, don't you love it? It's fantastic. Okay, so I want to maybe do something like that over here, but I just got to figure out what I want to color. I think I might like outline... Hmm, I really don't want to ruin this. I don't think I'll color anything on that one because I'm afraid I'm going to ruin it. I think I'll just stick with this one. And I'm going to wait for that to dry so that we can put the little dot back in the middle. And then I think we can leave the inside as is. And how cute is that? Oh, I love it. Okay, so these are what we've made today. I'm gonna make a few more things and then I'm gonna show, come back at the, after I've made a whole bunch more and I'm gonna show you everything that I've made. All right, be back in a few. All right, I've been hard at work all evening. So let me show you what we have. So you already seen, we have the Hunt's Ketchup journal card and we have our cherry pie journal card our hamburger journal card I love these um, our bacon tags and our, ke our ketchup our mustard tag okay so, oh can't forget the pickle and our pickle tag so let me show you what else I have created here so uh, remember this, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this, so I decided to just leave that as is, but I'm closing it with, and here we have the writing space, I'm, I might put like a little embellishment here, like, I'll probably find like a record or something to put there, so I need to find a record for that, but um, we I have a set of these paper clips in the box, so I definitely want to use that to close that up. And I might hang a charm from that, but I need to find the right one. Maybe I can, oh, maybe I can find, I think I have a right charm for that. Um, and then, so these are the new ones I made. So these, I'm, these are album covers. So I outlined them with um, the jelly roll markers that I used on these, the same colors. And I, backed them with the black multicolor and outlined the back too. I'm not sure what I want to do with these yet. I might even use a couple on here because I think that might be fun. Like this guy, that I think that would be really fun. So I'm going to clip those in here. So I remember to do that. And then I have a couple of Coca-Cola embellishments. So I will probably add these to as an embellishment on a page, but I did back them just in case. And then um, I have the lipstick. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't like how I did this on here, but oh well, it's already done. Still cute. Um, so that will probably go in a little pocket or tuck spot. 
I have the um, the car wax here, which will go on a car page. And I have, I love these lifesavers. They're so cute. I love the colorful paper on the back that I use. It was a, um, one of those swirly dye sets that you, that your kids do. I did it with my kids. So I had some papers left over from that. So I really love the way this turned out. And then I have the Cool Shake Milkshakes journal card. And I have the little six cent uh, price tag that was on the ad there. And then I have these recipe cards that will go. And I, I had this vintage um, paper that was like a grocery shopping list that I put on the back. Everything's outlined in black. These are probably my favorites. The A1 sauce with the the little dot elements there and outlined and I put uh, the cooking's fun with a one from the ad back there and this is my absolute favorite the seven up okay the seven up bottle put the little dots there outlined everything and it's just green on the back and then I added with a brad this fresh and fresh up with seven up little tag I made so I think that is probably my favorite. I think it's absolutely adorable. I love it. So I hope this gave you some ideas of what you can do with um, vintage magazines and maybe a, you know, and a little idea of what you can do art wise on these to make tags and journal cards and little folio things, little flip outs. And I hope you had a lot of fun. Of course, we're gonna make more and we're gonna make different elements using um, things other than the vintage magazines. Like I have a bunch of cool slides from the box. Not sure I'm gonna use those yet, but they're really cool. And some vintage postcards I need to use and some napkins. So we're definitely gonna do some decoupage. There's the paper clips. And I have cool things like this to use. So still lots of fun to come. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you again on Thursday. And we are going to be, um, we are going to be constructing the signatures for the journal. So that should be a lot of fun as well. So have a great day guys. See you then. Bye.